bunch of underwear. Looks like they opened the packages up. There's a bunch of underwear here. Okay, I'm gonna get this stuff and show y'all what else is in here. Man, Burlington, at first I went and it was half full. And of course there were, you saw there were a lot of underwear, socks, t-shirts. So this was the first bag I was able to grab a whole, um, pillowcase full of socks, underwear, t-shirts. These two bags right here are also socks, underwear, and t-shirts. I'm going to go through those bags at home because I'm going to separate them. I have, I'm happy this is the bag of all those boxes and boxes and boxes of um, underwear. I just took out of the boxes and the bags and put them in two garbage bags. And I forgot, I have stuff all in the trunk too. Miss, oh, here is another bag full of underwear. This is all of the underwear, socks, t-shirts, etc. that was in those four garbage bags crazy bags and bags and boxes and boxes of underwear so i'm gonna just briefly go through all of the underwear that um was in here at least they had i do see one pair of underwear for a dollar 98 that's cool but they still threw this stuff away so these Three stacks are men's boxers from size small to, um, I believe it's 2X over here mm, and a couple 4X that I'm going to give to my son because he's a big boy. He's a big young man. And then these are... I just left in a package to show you that they're literally throwing brand new packages of underwear out. This is three pair, three pair. Um, this is a, it's like three packs of these size three X boxers. How many is supposed to be in here? One, two, three, four. So how many is supposed to be in here? Oh, five, one, Okay, seems like one is missing out of there. But this one has five hair in it. This one is a 2X and it has, looks like two pair in there. This is an extra large. It has all three pair. Another one that has all three pair, that's a large. And these are $9.99. So, um, here's another pack. There's medium and then there's another pack of one, two, three, four. Is it four or five in there? I don't know, but that's a 3X. These are all the women underwear there. And then these are all the boys underwear. Look at all these underwear. Just thrown in the dumpster. This is the little girl's underwear, and then it's a pair of shorts and a pair of leggings. A couple little bralettes there. Some Adidas workout gloves. This is a Tommy, no, Michael Kors button-down shirt that was $39.99 and went on clearance for $25.99. I have to take the security tag off. These are all the men's t-shirts these are the boys t-shirts yeah and here's all the socks 
Skechers socks. I never knew Skechers made socks. And I tried a pair on and they feel so wonderful. So I think I will be keeping the Skechers socks. I love Skechers shoes. They are the most comfortable shoes ever. And the socks didn't disappoint. So these are all the socks that I could find. But, um, <coughs> excuse me. If you watched my flea market video, then you know, um, or if you paid attention, that I sell the um, underwear. All of the underwear and stuff I, I find after I give them to my sons and my husband, um, I have done a um, underwear box before in the live sale. Um, but I take these to the flea market. And there's like three buckets, three totes that I fill with all the socks and underwear, t-shirts, and um, sell them for the socks. I sell two pair for a dollar, sometimes three. But the underwear and t-shirts, I sell for one dollar each. Because as you can see, these packs are $9.99, $9.99. I'm not sure how much these are, but I'm sure they're probably gonna be between nine and $12. These are $14.99. So me selling them one dollar. Look at this, $19.99 for three pair of underwear. So if me selling them one dollar each is a bargain, which is what I want to give people because I think $19.99 for three pair of underwear is ridiculous. There's a um, customer who comes every weekend. And he started buying the underwear and he had said he paid $12.99 for three pair of underwear. He came and bought three pair of underwear and paid $3. He comes every weekend now to see what new underwear and t-shirts that I have. And he purchased every single weekend, which makes me so happy that um, someone who can actually use them and need them can just pay $1 for them. Very inexpensive. It's a way of me getting a little few dollars for the um, things that I sell and being able to give it to people who can actually use it as opposed to me donating it and then someone else selling it you know what I mean um, but yes this is ridiculous all of this um, socks and underwear just was in the dumpster most some of them they opened the packages up and and um, poured them out but after I went back they didn't even bother opening the packages anymore it was just so much stuff in there so much stuff okay I want to show you <laughs> look at the deer and then the baby is back there he's looking in here <laughs> hey buddy and then there's the baby you see the baby over there oh look at the little baby this is what I get to enjoy. Oh, there's another over there to the right. Oh my goodness. This is what I get to enjoy. I love it. Hey. But yes, so I'm glad I could save it. I'm glad I can help um, someone who needs this stuff and only paying a fraction, a tiny tiny fraction of what they would pay in the store and then I get to get a little profit from it all so um this is my underwear haul boxes and boxes and bags and bags of underwear <laughs> um I thank you for watching hope you like the video give this video a thumbs up Comment down below and tell me how crazy this is. Crazy, crazy. If you've been here for a while, you know that I find these underwear hauls quite often. That just lets you know how much they waste. And I did go back the next day and it was completely empty. The trash I came. So that is the reason why they were stuffing it all in there. Because garbage truck was coming to get it. Um, and I saved it. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, of course, we all we will see you on the next dive.